Hi foodies, welcome to Cook with Pini, where vegetarian food is made easy. Today we'll be making Padini di Jetni, also known as Mint Jetni. And if you would like to follow along, please continue watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For this recipe, I used one cup of fresh mint, one medium-sized onion, half a medium-sized tomato, two slices of red apple, finely chopped, four green chilies, fresh tamarind, which the recipe is coming soon, salt to taste, and I also used a mortar and pestle for this, also known as a gundan kota in Punjabi. First, we'll add the fresh mint leaves, and I'll add about a spoon and a half of salt, and I'll add the green chilies, and you're gonna wanna crush these and have it to a smooth paste-like consistency. I like my chutney a little bit chunkier, but if you don't, you can definitely throw it into a food processor and just grind it all up. Next, we'll add some onions and you're going to want to crush those in as finely or as chunky as you like. Next, I'm going to add a spoon and a half of apple into the jutney. Uh, you can add more or you can add less depending on your spice level. Uh, this is a secret tip that I learned from my nani. She always used to put apple in her jutneys and it just tasted so different and so good. You add the apple so it gives a little bit of a natural sweetness to it. And next I'll add the tomatoes. Remember if you add the tomatoes too early that it'll become really watery. You're just going to want to mix it all together. And next we're going to add one spoon of tamarind in it and this brings all the flavors together and it balances everything out. And it's one trick that I learned from my mom and ever since I've started using it, it just made my chutney taste so much better. This is my favorite type of chutney. I literally eat it all summer long. Um, you can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have it on bagel, you can have it on bread, you can have it with roti, you can have it with any type of bronte. You can also make paneer pakore with this chutney, which I'll be making in my next video. On this particular day, I had it on uh, panini bread. What I did was I toasted the bread and I put some butter on it and I spread the chutney on it and it tastes so delicious. So if you guys try this out, let me know. If you use any other ingredients in your mint chutney or padini di chutney, let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care!